Hey, 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 everybody. I am playing a little bit of Minecraft Mud Pack. I will do the intro whilst I'm uh, loading into the world, but I'll make the world. First, we need a world name, something that gives us strength. And I think the perfect thing for that is Otis's Milky Udder's Beautiful. Uh, I think that's everything we need. Perfect. Uh, so this is Infernal Origins, which is one of the hardest mod packs currently. Another thing that makes it really hard is the fact that it's sort of an RPG mod pack. So you would assume you'd have like a party of maybe three, four people playing. I am one person. I am a mere person. One mere mortal. We're going to go with the Alkin though, because uh, I you, I will show you why we love the Alkin. We always spawn in a village, which is very nice. Um, you usually want to be fairly quick starting everything because it's there is some aspect of like difficulty scaling over time. So we probably want to get a start nice and quick i'm gonna die a lot but if we can get some lucky if we can get some loot that is gonna be lucky then that'll be huge for us because a big part of this mod pack is it's not like a normal minecraft mod pack where it's like you might you know build a house and go mining and then get everything ready it is sort of you're just constantly looting um i'm gonna set up probably in a house somewhere over here so here we go Anything in here? Nothing good. I'll grab some oak planks and then we're going to do one of my favorite things. So one very cool thing about this is... Yeah, I'm a fucking magic man. Ouch! Okay, well that didn't quite go as planned. Okay. Perfect. Three iron, that is all I need. Because we are immediately going to go mining. So this is why I picked the Alkin. If I click my uh, tertiary ability, my third ability, I do this. I can just go into the ground. I'll make a couple of swords. Or not swords, daggers. Because I want a good rune. Okay, fuck it. I can't be fucked doing any of that. So we're going to need a Slayer Master. Where's the other one? So let us go do some mining. We're aiming. I, I sort of decided I probably want around 100-ish iron. And then whilst we're down here, because obviously we can walk through walls and everything, it's going to be very easy for us to find diamonds. Yeah, fuck that. Ah, oh, here. Here's some. Perfect. Uh, yes, this is what makes finding mining so easily in this, as an Alkin anyway. Not in this mod pack, but just specifically as the Alkin. So, killing slimes is really good for the Slayer task, because obviously, uh, they just, yeah, keep on spawning more enemies. So this is your Slayer's task. I have, uh, you can see your stats here. And this is how you upgrade your stats, health, damage, uh, defense, everything. Uh, you can even upgrade movement speed, luck, and all of that. It's great. And the only thing you have to do is basically you keep on killing enemies. So the reason I'm so focused on getting iron as opposed to sort of just only going for diamonds is because we need a lot of anvils, or we're going to need several anvils anyway. But we need an anvil to combine gear. We need an anvil to also make a disenchantment table. Okay, and we're back with our stuff, which is very nice. I am going to, I guess, quickly... I'll start smelting up all this iron. I think the next agenda of business would be to find either a dungeon or a battle tower. So I will get powered up and then see you then. The Infernal Moon Rising is really not good. The Infernal Moon Rising... So there's different moons that happen... So Infernal Moon, you're already kind of seeing it, is a lot of enemies are spawning in. Uh, which isn't great for us at all, because it means it's going to make adventuring really annoying. Hi. So I'm going to cheese these guys, because I'm a little pussy. And that's kind of the way the game is intended to be played. Welcome to McDonald's drive through what can I get for you? Nope. I'm sorry, I'm not going to suck your dick, sir. I'm not going to give you a McHappy ending. I'll see you in the morning, I guess, once I'm not getting molested in the drive-thru. That's what I thought. Or Elder Guardian Boots. Holy shit, okay. Okay, so those boots that I got are really good, actually. Well, not in the current state, but they will be really good. So, okay, you see how they are a yellow around them? That is basically legendary. It's, there's technically another, uh, tier higher, which is like, uh, something surrounded with red, but that's like impossible to get. So I am going to hang on to these. This is going to be for really good stuff. I'm not going to wear them because they're almost broken. But as soon as 
Ouch. Fucking son of a bitch. Okay, finally the Infernal Moon has set. So right now, I'm gonna check out the map. That, right there. Perfect, you can already see a battle tower. Yeah, I'm gonna head over in this direction and I will see you then. So, I'm f I don't even know we're gonna be able to kill it here. I the fuck is this house? This, this, this is what we want. I'm going to take you. Thank you. Very nice. I'll probably also kill your iron golem just because I'm an asshole, I guess. The villager that I accidentally killed dropped me this, the health elixir. So I do this and I increase my HP. Now I already have 40 HP, which is huge. And I'm gonna also check uh, mob health. They need 27 HP and he has 39 HP. Hello, anyone home? Oh, I guess I could look on my map, but he's all the way over the other side. I'm not... He lives, I guess. He lives to tell the tale. So, Raccoon, you, are, you have 54 HP. Ow! Son of a bitch! You fight back! Okay, we're at the entrance of the battle tower. I'm going to set up my base. Now, we'll go into the battle tower. And I've set my spawn here. So, yep. Oh, okay. Skeletons on the first floor I'm not a fan of. Because they can shoot. And, obviously, they're harder to fight back against. Wow. Both of the spawners are... Um, okay, I'm going to new task. Middle of the fight. Ouch. All out of that. Ouch. And I'm about to die. But... Yeah, bit of a clusterfuck going on. Holy shit. Sir. Sir, calm down. Wow. What might be a good idea would be to actually destroy this first floor. I might do that because I'm not a fan of skellies. Let us destroy that. Okay. Perfect. We... Okay, the mysterious scrolls are also really good. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm fucked. Yep. And there's enemies here. Right, no, this is great. This is fan-fucking-tastic. I love this. No, I love this. That gives us... the first floor, which I'll move everything into... We'll go upstairs, maybe, and see how that treats us. Fuck off. So that's bad. Um, shit, this is bad. Ah, uh, shit, and I gotta get my shit back. Hmm. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, so that's a boss. I need to get back inside. Because, ow. Or I can just die. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, we're just gonna go here. I'm just coming back here to let everything over there despawn. Okay, it's peaceful over here now that everything is despawned. Besides all my graves. Yeah, I'll collect all the heads just for the funsies. We can see how much I died. There's two of them. There's fucking two of them. Mm. Fucking little shits. Can't see me. Can't see me. <laughs> I want my mommy. Can someone tell me what the definition of insanity is? It's like doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting different results. Because that's what I'm feeling like right now. I'm like Sisyphus for real. He's won. He's won. Finally, he's dead. We're gonna run to here. Because I'm a little bitch. Um. Huh. Interesting. Let's, um, put that back. And then maybe do something like this. Crazy that that happened. I'm just trying to make it safe for me. So then I can just kind of cheese him. Oh, cheese Louise. Her. Okay, this is ideal though, I guess, in the sense that I'm getting books from these guys. Books and delicious, delicious HP. So I'm going to keep on farming in here, I suppose. Uh, I'm just sort of continuing to kill things, cheesing them, because I'm a little bitch. Um, I just got a this, another sort of piece of armor that's the gold around it, which gives really good stats. So that's also going to go immediately away into a chest. There's a lot of enemies out here uh, at the moment. <laughs> Because I've just been doing inventory and everything, so they've been spawning like crazy. So I guess I can show you what my ult ability does. So this is my ult. So I, whatever armor they have, I also do that as damage. So I'm going to do that. And this should drain them. Absolutely, yeah. 
the ult ability charges not like the others where it charges over time. I get percent from how much I kill and also from taking damage, which I do a lot, so I should get my ult again pretty soon. So I'm probably gonna maybe move up a four as well. I'm gonna I'm not gonna destroy the spawners yet because I think these guys are the are really easy to farm. I really want to get a zombie spawner because if I get two zombies or something, I can start getting like actually good we melee weapon drops, um, which would be really handy. I'm back. Ooh, the combat. Okay, this one's a really good one. You know how I was trying to reroll uh, the like stone shivs and this shiv a couple times to get better runes. You can also just get rune drop. I get regen when I kill enemies, and it keeps on stacking up. Skeletons, pillages. I love it. And this is the boss. Okay. Fuck, that's really annoying. Golem boss though, fucking nowhere near ready to kill him. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, they're, 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 they're very angry. Ow, who the fuck's killing me? Baby spider can still get him. I'm, uh, I'm gonna grind here for a little bit, get my XP back, uh, back up, and then... XP, see what enchantments I get, and I'll see you either when I get something good or when I'm finished grinding. Oh my god, okay, no. Okay, so I've come to realize... I'm... Well, I've come to realize that I'm fucking stupid, apparently. I need to silverfish proof my little pussy cage. My chastity cage. Okay, that might... Nope. Okay, they can get through... Note to self. Silverfish go through half block gaps. What the fuck just happened? I'm actually speechless. I guess I'll just continue bashing my head against the wall, and if anything happens, I'll see you then. Okay, I might have silverfish, yeah, silverfish proof my arena, my my little cuck shed a little bit, possibly, by uh, filling in these gaps and filling in these gaps with, I guess, heads. Um, hopefully that means no silverfish can reach me now. They can get through. They can still get through. Okay, that's bad. Oh god. Why are you here? Hi? Are you... Bye! I'm going to head out now. This is the loot I've kind of collected so far. I got another uh, yellow, which is really good, and it's already got Soulbound on it, which is sweet. So, we're going to head back now to home, or at least temporary home, and at least maybe get one piece of armor sorted, because um, I think I only have one mending book. I'm going to start taking home stuff, and I'll see you back. Look, I'm not responsible for the raid or anything that happens. Uh, whoopsies. It's fine. I'm just going to chill inside here whilst I sort of deal with this. So, we're going to make a enchanting table, but we're not going to do any enchanting. I might be an idiot. <laughs> I've been playing Minecraft for how long? And, whoops. Okay. Enchanting table. Okay. Here's why we got so much uh, iron. We wanted a lot of iron because we need to make an anvil. I'll make another anvil just for shits and gigs as well because, well, I'm going to need one. Uh, let's make these two. Ice. Fuck me. I... No, wait, that is right. Yeah, okay, I'm just an idiot, slightly. Two anvils. We're going to put an anvil up here. A gold there, chanting table there, that's the recipe, yes. This is our disenchanter. This is going to be very, very useful, because I can now just grab all my books, chuck them in there. If I want, I can just go, huh, you have soulbound on this bow, I can go, thank you, and just take the soulbound. So that's really good, I'm going to grab the anvil and put that down. I'll make start making this one because I've got a fair bit. So physical protection and unbreaking. Yes, please. I'll take both of you. Combine these two. Yes, reach two. So I'll do that one and then pour onto that. So really this now just needs mending. Uh, so this is what the scrolls are used for. So scroll of modification is we can kind of... That's your uh, affixes. So it just basically makes them way better. Not empty rune. Okay, that's fine. That's whatever. I don't give a shit. Sucks that we don't get a good rune on it, but we can always put runes on later. Well, that's gonna cost 10. Yikes. 
Uh, I think that's good, though. I think that's everything for now. Um, it's a really fun mod pack. I'm really enjoying it. Again, it's uh, Infernal Origins. Really great. Uh, it's really difficult. Highly recommend playing with some friends. I'm here alone. Sad. Yeah, if you've made it this far, I guess, and you're enjoying it and you want to see more, uh, like the video, maybe subscribe, give it a comment. It really helps out. I really appreciate it. It'd be really nice. Uh, it'd make my day. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.